Well, thank you, Kirsty, for the nice introduction, and it's nice to be back at uh, the Battery Graphite uh, Conference, and thank you to Dominic and Bill for hosting it again. Uh, it's certainly at an important time. Uh, quick uh, overview of our, our business strategy. We're a, um, uh, a diversified HF-free battery anode materials uh, business. We've spent the last nine years and over uh, 35 million US dollars developing three core businesses. On the right-hand side, We've got a natural uh, graphite mine in, uh, or project in Tanzania, which has undergone significant due diligence from um, uh, KFW IPEX Bank, which is leading a uh, financing of $60 million to finance that project. And for those that have operated in Tanzania, it's been a pretty tough time and over the last four years, but uh, the news in Tanzania is very, very good uh, with the, the, new, uh, uh, the new changes that we're, the companies are seeing. On the left-hand side, We've got a battery anode uh, materials business to produce uh, spherical graphite or battery graphite from natural flake graphite. That is also development ready and undergoing a financing uh, process. Combine those projects, uh, we're working on just under uh, around 100 million US in, in financing. We've developed our own proprietary purification process to, for the manufacturing of uh, natural spherical graphite. We've also, um, uh, taking our proprietary purification process and applying it to recycling, and that's the central part of the business. And uh, that is early stage, but we're getting some really encouraging results. I guess the importance of our project, of our developments, is they're all focused on an ex-China basis, and they're stand standalone. They're not reliant on uh, each other. A quick uh, overview of our, our company, we're ASX listed, we've um, got $53 million in the bank, which is a, a great position for our company, we're, we're funded, our developments are, are funded. Um, we've um, got a secondary listing on the Frankfurt and we've also just, uh, we're uh, trading on the OTC to uh, increase the international exposure into this sector. Our largest shareholders are uh, First Centia and in the last capital raising we attracted global um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Allianz uh, Global Partners and uh, Paradise Funds Management. So we've got really strong uh, institutional support of our project. Our expansion into Kwinana, to where we're going to develop our first facility, uh, we're just starting to recruit the, the, the team now and at the bottom of the, the slide deck we've in, uh, recruited uh, Michael Chan, an international graphite specialist, to join our board, which many of you will probably recognise on the screen. Our strategy is quite clear uh, with the development of our Tanzanian graphite mine is to develop our Quinana uh, manufacturing facility which this presentation is focused on. We're also seeing enormous demand in Europe and we're preparing for that and planning to uh, develop a second facility as that uh, demand increases. I won't cover too much on the demand side because Alan's covered that off but I guess the important thing to uh, recognise is the, uh, the battery chemistry is uh, largely uh, um, made up from, from graphite. We live in the land of lithium over here and we hear a lot about lithium and there's different chemistries on lithium but the good thing on the anode side is that the, uh, the anode is quite consistent. It's made up of synthetic, uh, synthetic graphite and natural uh, spherical graphite and that's the business we uh, are getting into. The growth is, um, all, and, and I guess the important aspect of that um, anode aspect is all the natural spherical graphite that the world is reliant on is coming from China using a HF purification process, which is really inconsistent with the new age demand and what the investment that we're seeing in, in Europe. I won't go, I guess, won't go too much into this slide. We've everybody's seen this uh, many times, but I guess the point that we'd like to make is in about four to five years, we're expecting the cell manufacturing and the demand to migrate out of Asia into, uh, into Europe and the cell manufacturing to require raw materials and that's going to require a lot of materials as, as we've seen from previous uh, presenters. I think one, one change that we've seen over the last 12 months that we're all grateful to is the European Commission's uh, policy green deal, the legislative changes that are coming down the pipe, the EV manufacturers have been touting for the last three years about responsibly sourced raw materials, well, it's being legislated in Europe and that's been very positive for the whole, the whole industry. 
and um, increased responsibility of res raw materials, uh, traceability, and uh, recycling are all, all fundamental to our, our own business and uh, we're uh, very aligned to those policies and uh, I think it's so important for us to work w around those. A quick, um, I'll run a, through a video here to give you a quick overview of our Quinana development uh, here in WA. Based in Perth, Western Australia, Ecograph is proposing a unique manufacturing facility to produce high purity battery graphite suitable for use in lithium ion batteries. Ecograph's patent pending and proprietary graphite purification processing technology is green and sustainable, satisfying high environmental standards of European and US automobile and lithium ion battery manufacturers. The raw material, natural flake graphite, will be imported in sea containers to Fremantle Port and transported by road to the proposed site within the Quinana industrial area. Quinana is recognised as a reliable supplier of high quality industrial products and as having ethical transparency in raw material production and protection of intellectual property rights. Significant battery mineral investment already exists at Quinana including the world-class Tianxi Lithium and BHP Nickel West developments. Ecograph has the potential to be the integral part of the Western Australian future battery industry strategy and to provide high purity graphite to other advanced manufacturing industries. Ecograph has invested substantially over the past few years to establish a unique and environmentally superior graphite processing technology. The proposed Ecograph facility will initially commence with a production rate of 5,000 tonnes per annum, followed by an expansion to a capacity of 20,000 tonnes per annum. The state-of-the-art new process plant eliminates the use of hydrofluoric acid and instead the Ecograph processes produces graphite in two stages. Firstly, the mechanical shaping of the graphite and then multi-stage chemical purification. The purified graphite is then dried and bagged prior to transport. Ecograph high purity graphite will be globally exported to lithium iron battery markets. The facility is expected to employ more than 250 construction employees and 60 direct employees during ongoing production. It is expected to generate significant royalties and taxes over its first 20 years of operation. Demand for high purity battery graphite is forecast to increase 700% by 2025, with growth expected to shift into Europe and US markets. The Ecograph Quinana manufacturing facility will be well positioned to meet this growing demand and be part of the massive global investment to transition to ethical renewable energy storage. Ecograph, green and sustainable, high purity graphite. Mm, and that, uh, that facility's uh, taken a lot of work to get where we are and, and I guess will be one of the first, if not the first uh, facility outside of China to produce an alternate uh, battery graphite material for the lithium ion battery market. Uh, where the location is, is anybody that knows uh, Quinana, we're just off Patterson Road, Alloy Ave. We've got 6.7 hectares uh, down there that we're working towards on the, to uh, establish the, the facility. Uh, just a quick overview of the development. Um, there's a lot of information on our website. We've done an enormous amount of work in terms of engineering optimization studies to develop this facility. We've uh, uh, signed uh, uh, feedstock agreements, offtake agreements with Tizencrook. And I guess we're staging the development down the bottom left-hand side, uh, beginning with 5,000 and expanding to 15,000 tonnes to match the demand on an ex-China basis. That development uh, is very financially attractive, as you can see down the bottom right-hand side. We've had fantastic f uh, federal and government support, which um, is, is great to, is what we need to develop manufacturing here in, in, in Australia. Uh, we're going up against uh, Asian manufacturing, so to get the, the support from the Australian government is, is sensational. 
We've received the major project status, um, which is the first project to receive uh, an NPS in, uh, in 12 months uh, when we received it in March, which recognises the significant significance of our development, and we've received lead agency um, uh, for, for the project. And uh, the Premier uh, were down on site uh, opening the, uh, uh, announcing the, the land agreement uh, when uh, late last year when we received the, uh, the, the ground. Just a quick update on the development. Uh, we've completed all the due diligence for the uh, financing that we're pursuing through the Australian Go Government uh, Export Agent Finance Agency. Uh, we've got GR Engineering uh, undertaking the pre-construction works. We're also uh, finalising all the approvals for that site and we've commenced our employment where, uh, for, for, the, for the site. Uh, so that's the downstream in, in uh, uh, West Australia. A quick overview of our recycling. I've got a couple of slides. Uh, we hear a lot about recycling and a lot of it's on the cathode uh, minerals to recover the nickel, cobalt, manganese, lithium. At the moment there is no recycling of um, the anode, which is, as we know, 50% of the battery. That's a lot of material to go into landfill. And we know legislative changes are now requiring uh, no landfill in the, in the future. So we see a huge opportunity for our, our purification to be applied into particularly the production waste, uh, recovering that from the cell and battery manufacturers shop floors that's going into waste uh, and putting that back into the supply chain and that's really the focus of the company and the, the opportunity that can bring is, is enormous both on a cost p basis for, for the operating cost of the battery uh, but also on an in environmental front in terms of lowering uh, emissions. We've signed our first agreement with Sungil High Tech, who is one of the largest um, Asian lithium-ion battery uh, recyclers, and they are uh, located in, in South Korea um, as well and very well connected. And we see our, our um, uh, purification process being part of the whole... Uh, a, par a part of the circular economy to get this material back into the battery and we're working with lithium-ion battery cell manufacturers and EV manufacturers in US and Europe and uh, it's really an exciting opportunity that is really being legislated by European policy that we'll have to all, all follow suit. And I guess the other unique aspect of our development is the, uh, the ability to develop a blended product, uh, particularly on the recycling uh, to see that material come back into a reuse in traditional mar industrial markets, but also into the battery market where we um, mix, blend our very high purity material that we're producing at Quinana with the uh, recovered carbon anode material if it just doesn't quite make spec. And uh, the work that we're working, the, the results that we're achieving to date indicate that we might be able to achieve a blend of two to one. Uh, and that really brings a very green clean uh, new product to the, to the market. But there's a lot of work to be done on that front. We're working on finalising a, a piloting, uh, a pilot plant, a modular pilot plant to undertake further product qualification uh, processes. Um, coming back to where we started, Tanzania, we've done an enormous amount of work and uh, that's where our roots be begin. I guess the advantage of all the work we've completed uh, in, in Tanzania at our Panko project uh, we're the only project that's gone through development bank due diligence, uh, German bank due diligence, I should say, at that. And, and that's a pretty gruelling process for anybody that's uniquely gone through that process in the past. Um, and that uh, is being undertaken at a uh, IFC um, uh, equator principle standards. So it really matches the new age demand for, for products that's required from, that's been touted and legislated. The capital investment is... Uh, around um, 90 million dollars and we're working on a 60 million dollars from the, uh, the state-owned bank KF, KFW. So finally just to close out on our, our value proposition is, is really significant and I guess the key points here to make is our production is really consistent with current demand um, at the moment and these are both scalable products. Uh, we've got expansion plans to multiply our uh, downstream manufacturing overseas and um, uh, it really does provide us a proposition for the shareholders. Thank you very much for your time.